Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Thursday the 30th of May and I'm here with a tarot card reading for you. So let's see who comes out today. We had the Justice card yesterday. Guess who we've got today? <laughs> different cards, same card, different pack, same card, the Justice card. Okay, and we've got the, the Four of Materials as well. Now I said yesterday, and if you didn't see it, go back and have a look. When cards keep coming out, there's a message there. There's something we're not doing. There's something we haven't seen. And I said that yesterday because I felt like we'd seen the Justice card before and we also had the Seven of Cups. So I'm putting this card down and I'm having a little look at this card. All right. I want you to take a really good look at it and think about what it is for you that is really important in this card. Is it this white light going into this lady's head there and that she's literally unpeeling an old version of herself and come, becoming new again, you know, becoming a new version of herself? Is it this person walking up the stairs? You know, they're walking to, I don't know if you can see it, there's two staircases. This one's got a lovely white, bright, sunny look. And this little portal here, so this portal there, and the portal there is quite dark, okay? But looks like there's a castle there. This is the idea of choice. Now, you don't usually associate the Justice card with choice. That's generally like the Lover's card or something like that. But this is a choice for you, for your soul, whether you're going to follow your soul path or follow your human path which maybe can take us down the wrong way sometimes because it can get a bit caught up in drama and chaos other people's stuff um, things that we think we should be doing to please other people or you know outworn ideas that don't really sit with us anymore I really feel today because we had this come in yesterday in a different pack I really do feel today we have got to take some time to really meditate and get in tune with this inner voice of ourselves to see what it is that we need to peel away okay so if you really do resonate with this picture then maybe that is something that you kind of know deep down there's something not sitting right with you and if you're resonating with this lady walking up towards the portal and having a choice of which way she's going but very much determined to walk towards that lighter portal then maybe that is the choice that you've got to do. So it might be a very internal one for you, as in listening to my inner voice and not my ego, or it might be external as actually having to take a choice within your human world as to which way to go from here. It's a big turning point, I feel. Or should I say starting point? Maybe, yeah, maybe starting point is a better way of doing it. Now, I don't use this pack very often, and I haven't seen this four of material cards for a very, very long time. I love the vibrancy of it. I'm a bit confused as to why the camel's there. <laughs> if you really resonate with this little camel, maybe that's the spirit animal trying to, you know, contact you and give you a, a, a separate message. Obviously, camels can cope with adverse situations. Um, you know, they can go long periods of time walking through the desert, not having any water because they're carrying it with them. And that is very commendable, but I don't suppose they can do it all the time. You know, sometimes sometimes they might probably just want to chill <laughs> and not carry people over, over deserts for days and days and days. So I feel that that's an important thing to kind of look at today. I wonder why he's there. Perhaps he is there saying, come on, look, we're ready to go. Oops, dropped him. <laughs> Perhaps he is there trying to will this person to, to take travel, to start moving. You know, maybe that's, that's the message here. Obviously, this is a collective message. So I want to say at the moment for these two cards today, looking at these cards and picking out the detail that really means something to you is really important because this is a pivotal change, new start kind of time. All right. I'm looking at this lady and the way she's holding those roses and it's really interesting because I've got a rose over there and there is four orange roses on it. Um, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> but it's exactly that colour and there is exactly four. Um, 
you know, she's sitting there holding that rose to her as if it's so precious. Um, and it is, you know, sometimes you do, you get these lovely flowers and you just want to spend time looking at them and sniffing them. Um, but they don't last forever. And I feel that this is a message about uh, being aware that things do change. So if you are feeling quite complacent or content where you are, but you know that there's a calling to go elsewhere, you don't want to miss that opportunity. I think I said that yesterday about missing opportunities, missing the chances to go. Um, and we can hold on to things because, you know, they're precious to us. But eventually, there is a calling to do more. <laughs> Little Robin just flew over my head. So, have you noticed the pink flower here? The bigger flower. You know, maybe that smells 10 times better than all four of those put together. If she looked up, she could see it. Maybe she'd be drawn to it, but she's so, so, so focused on this. So this is a message that there is more out there. And I do feel if you're tuning in really carefully today, you will see that there is time now for you to move on. Um, but this is not leaving stuff behind. This is, this is gaining actually more um, abundance or richness I think is the word I want to use in your life. <laughs> so we've got spirit animal cards tomorrow if you want to come back for those. It'd be funny if Camel popped up again to say hello wouldn't it? I'm going to leave you now, have a lovely day. I'm going to leave you with a little picture of my orange, four orange roses to inspire you for today. Have a wonderful day, bye for now. I said there was four. But look, there's even more. So maybe that's another message for us. Okay, bye.